out here by a nurse? Shaking a tail is not rocket science. I just sent my own kid walking around in circles. I didn't know she was on me. But you didn't know. How the hell did you not know? She works for the hospital, not the damn CIA. And why the hell was she following you in the first place? Speak up, I couldn't hear that. He was too busy skimming pills to notice. Idiot. You and your pill problem are gonna blow this entire operation for me. I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. You're damn right it'll never happen again. Now I gotta clean up your mess. Question is, what am I gonna do about it? So you're following your father around? That can't be good. Yeah, well, I bet you're about the last person who wants to hear about it, so... Well, why don't you try me? I'll take my mind off my own troubles. Well, he's acting out, pushing Sonny's buttons, and it's in turn pushing the limits of this truce we got, to say the least. You know, a man like Anthony, you can't really be surprised, right? Well, he's been... Ever since his curious release from Bentonville, he's been... I don't know, he's initiated this unspoken power struggle. He's going behind my back, pulling strings. He's, he's using old connections. It's a man like not Anthony's good. not going to give up power very easily. I mean, if, if at all. Yeah, so. well, you know, the worst thing about it is that he thrives in this state of chaos. It's, it's what makes him feel normal. And yeah. he thinks I'm nuts and soft for having a truce with Sonny. And I'm telling you, if I'm being honest, I... I'd rather just walk away from the entire situation, move away, start somewhere fresh, you know? Yeah. But there's still people here that, that I care about, and I know if I move away, all hell's going to break loose, so... So basically, you're giving up living life on your own terms so you can stay here and try to manage a situation that you have got no possibility of controlling. Well, I... I got a line out on something, and if it pans out, then that'll afford me the opportunity to walk. You said that before. You never get very far. So what do you think is going to make this time any different? I know she already saw this genius. Did she get a good look at you, too? No. I mean, I don't think she did. You don't think she did, or you know she didn't, which is it? I grabbed her from behind. I let Daryl put the blindfold on her so we wouldn't both be made. Wow. Somebody actually put their thinking cap on before coming to work. I'm impressed. I'm sorry. I'm Did I tell you to keep your mouth shut? You are becoming a liability to me. And now you leave me no choice. Please, man. Shh. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? And for right now, I'm not gonna hurt you. You can consider this your lucky day. Any more mistakes, they'll be your last. Steve I figured you were wired enough as it is. You know, you always have this uncanny way of showing up when I need you. Yeah, I don't like bullies. Never have. Yeah. And that's exactly what Sonny is. Are you here to tell me that you're going to take the job at PCU? Sorry. Like I said, I've got my own lead to follow up on. Oh, are you here about a job at GH? In a matter of speaking. You either are or you're not. Let's just say I'm waiting to speak to the man in charge. Well, in this case, it'd be a woman because Robin Scorpio is chief of staff. <laughs> there you go again, making assumptions. Well, why don't you clear it up for me? Although I can't understand why you'd rather be a janitor than a professor. That doesn't really make much sense a to janitor, me. A janitor? Huh? Yeah. Well, you're not oh, a doctor. Those are my only two options, right? You're not a doctor. <laughs> uh, uh, are you going to try and work in the lab or something? i tell you what. If I get hired anywhere, I'll make sure I let you know. But until then, there's really no point in talking about it. Hmm. You don't talk about anything. You didn't even tell me that you were living above Kelly's. And you didn't ask. No, you didn't want me to know because you didn't want me putting you up at the hotel in a nicer room. I don't need a nicer room. I don't believe that. I don't. I think you're staying at Kelly's because you're trying to prove something, just like you were trying to prove something with not taking the job. No, I don't have anything to prove, which is actually the best position to be in. Why can't you tell me something? Are you trying to drive me crazy? No. But I am trying to take your mind off things with Sonny. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Don't you? Mm. <laughs> Why 
Where's Maxie? She has something important to take care of, so she asked me to fill it. More important than her job? Nothing is more important to Maxie than her job. Well, her absence would indicate otherwise. And what makes you think you're an acceptable substitute? You quit as my second assistant, a job that thousands of girls would kill to have. And now I'm supposed to what? Rely on you because Maxie needs a favor? Okay, if you don't want my help, I'm more than happy to go. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to go anywhere until you deal with that. Drake said Christina's bone fragment was most likely caused by a fall. Okay, well, Kiefer beat Christina so bad she ended up in the hospital twice. I know Mom wants to blame Kiefer for this, but I don't think we should rule out Uncle Sonny either. He did plant that bomb in Johnny's car. The bone fragment could have happened when the explosion knocked her over. I'm sure she hit the cement pretty hard. Oh. And I'm also sure that you know better than anyone just how powerful a bomb blast can be. No, no, I, I, I do, I do. But, but the truth is, we are never going to know for sure. So we really shouldn't waste any time speculating. It's not going to change Christina's condition. I guess you're right. Can you do me a favor? Can you leave this theory between the two of us when Chrissy wakes up? She needs to focus on her recovery. And I have, I have a feeling if Chrissy finds out that Sunny might be responsible for this, it could ruin their relationship for good. You said a minute ago that talking to me would help you forget about your own problems. Everything all right with Steve? I think you and I are not going to discuss me and Steve. All right, well... For what it's worth, he seems like a pretty stand-up guy. He's smart, too. I know you're safer with him, but are you happier? That's a pretty big question. About something that we are not going to discuss. Fair enough. Yeah. Can't blame me for asking, though. John, you need to start taking care of yourself. Okay? Before you make any promises to anyone. You ask yourself how it's going to affect you first. There she is, Missy LQ herself. I have security on speed dial. <laughs> I like you. You got spunk. It's a good quality. One that's severely lacking in most people these days. I don't appreciate you just showing up here. I don't have time for your maniacal ramblings. I'm a busy woman. Well, even busy women have to eat. Come on in, Emilio. What is this? <laughs> Dinner. It's something two people share when they're getting to know each other. I figured we could sit down like the equals we are. Tracy's done an excellent job of keeping her financial secrets buried until now. I always thought she did something, but I, I preferred to look the other way. Well, she's about to get hit in a big way, but I intend to make sure you're protected. How? ELQ is synonymous with the quartermates. I've already looked into it. We shelter the bulk of ELQ from Anthony. Is that even possible? Yes, we temporarily move ELQ's assets into another corporate structure leaving Tracy's subsidiaries to be taken by Anthony. I'm sure he'll take her for all she's worth, but what matters is that you will be protected. Hmm. I suppose I should feel bad for Tracy, but I find difficulty in summoning up any sympathy for her. She's the one who got herself and my company into this mess. Isn't that her specialty? Well, no, she's always been able to handle herself with the men who are after her money. Look at Luke. Hey. Maybe I should go try to find Luke. I'll make a play for him again just to get under his skin. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I strongly suggest against that. See, you, um, you're in a bit of a predicament with the Spencer men. You're still carrying a torch for Luke, and his son has just lit one for you. Oh, I don't feel any romantic attraction for Ethan. But that doesn't mean that I can't have fun flirting and considering the possibilities. Be careful. You're playing with fire. Isn't that my specialty?